सो अ थिंक ऑफ ब्यूटी इज अ पोइटिक रोमांस वेयर द पोएम रिफ्लेक्ट्स हिज एटीट्यूड टूवर्ड्स ब्यूटी द पोएट बिलीव दैट ब्यूटी इज इन ट्रांजियंट एंड गिवस अस द सेम प्लेजर अगेन एंड अगेन and it provides us with eternal joy and never fades away beauty plays a very important role in lives and helps us to remain happy and joyful in this sad and mundane world so a thing of beauty is a source of constant joy and a beauty can be found everywhere it is something that has the ability to transform lives it also highlights the fact that beauty has a therapeutic pyotic quality uh, the ability to remove negativity you can say and it can be an object nature tales or even noble deeds of our ancestor that we are going to read about today yes in spite of all some shape of beauty moves away the pall from our dark spirits so according to the poet our spirits are very despondent they are very sad because the spirits are very sad because of the sadness that lurks in our life as a result of lot of uh, lot of things that happen in our life as yesterday we were discussing that gives us sadness so all that sadness is removed by one or the other shape or form of beauty so beauty helps in driving away the sadness and despair from the dark recesses of our spirit the poet sees beauty as its best and uh, therefore he finds that beauty can remove all the sadness from our lives such the sun the moon trees old and young now here these are the images according to the poet these are the images or the objects of nature that gives us beauty in our life or that appears to be beautiful in our life or you can say that makes our life beautiful through the image of sun the moon the trees and further he is trying to point out that each and everything that is in the nature gives us happiness or eternal joy the poet sees the tree whether young or old as a symbol of protection the nature through the trees showers on us the blessings of shade protecting us from the heat intensive light of the sun and also from rain next he says that all these are sprouting a shady boon shady is comfort or leisure or relaxation so here the poet says that all these are actually the blessings for us for simple sheep now lambs and sheep are uh, envisioned as the embodiments of innocent and serene beauty uh, this is a biblical allusion here jesus christ as an apostle of a uh, peace was a shepherd and was seen surrounded by his flock of sheep his followers so sheep here common man you can say simple sheep is a common man or you can say the followers the people in the world so the poet has made specific reference to the sheep as symbols of divine beauty so poet says each and everything is a blessing on this earth for common man because whose life are full of problems common man therefore the uh, their god has given us all these beautiful things of nature so that we do not remain sad and we experience extreme bliss or joy further he says and such are daffodils so daffodils is another example of beauty or you can say image of the poet to specify beauty or to exemplify beauty with green world they live in so all these things the nature's beauty is at its best in the lush green surroundings of meadows and pastures which provide the life 
uh, you can say life support to all plants and animals no living creatures can be happy uh, away from nature children and it is in this green world that they find the true joy and happiness of life so as yesterday we were discussing that some people they treasure the beauty the things of beauty with them but the treasuring is not making them appear to be beautiful anymore they remain the flower that you treasure or keep in your book or uh, in the papers among the papers or wherever you want that flower loses its beauty as soon as it is separated from the plant and clear rules that for themselves a cooling covert make against the hot season clear rules refers to the rivers and the streams which are the natural source of water the elixir of life so uh, how they are beneficial to us streams are rivers the elixir of human life because water is the main source of life human life so human not only human life but all the creatures on the earth so their beautiful sight provides cooling effect cooling covert means that it creates a cool surrounding around them so that is why you people go close to the water bodies because you experience extreme pleasure and happiness there so those beautiful sights they provide cooling effect with uh, which is specially uh, benefiting you can say or be fitting you can say or beneficial when somebody has experienced the hot season specially so here this shows the importance of beauty in life who can understand the importance of beauty in life one who has experienced extreme sadness the poet further says the mid forest brake rich with sprinkling of fair musk rose blooms mid forest brake is actually the thick mass of ferns children so nature is beautiful in all its aspects the poet enjoys nature's beauty in the thick forest undergrowth which is brimming with the growth of the musk rose flowers so musk rose are the small flowers that bloom and that makes the complete arena or the complete area appear to be more beautiful but those musk rose they are appearing to be beautiful and tempting attractive because they are sprinkled here and there if the complete area would have been covered by musk roses then they would have lost the beauty they would have not been so tempting so here and there when the sprinkling is done when the garnishing is done that is more beautiful and tempting now as when your mother garnishes uh, something like uh, some vegetable that she has prepared or something that she has prepared so that appears to be more tempting so garnishing makes the things more tempting in spite of the things that are spread around and such too is the grandeur of the dooms so another image of beauty is the beauty is found uh, by the poet in the dead and decay grandeur is the magnificence magnificence is associated with the things that are no more growth and decay march hand in hand in nature and thus are the two vital aspects of life the poet sees beauty in the magnificent decay and death of these beautiful creations of nature now i find the best example of it in the old monuments the forts so those are dead those who are those that are created those structures that are created at the uh, burial or you can say on the death of a person so those are also very tempting and attractive so people go visit there to see even when the owners of them are no more in the world 
we have imagined for the mighty dead mighty dead the powerful people who have gone away from this earth but they have left behind some things that are associated with them and we can assume about their life after looking at them that makes us happy joyful all lovely tales that we have heard or read the beautiful stories that we have heard about those mighty people the great men the warriors who glorified death by embracing it most gracefully and magnificently they all are beautiful as the poet can see that not only in birth and growth but in death also lies the magnificence an endless fountain of immortal drink the stories that we have heard or the or read about those people they are also the examples of beauty the images of beauty along with them along with the story or glory of those great men all the things all the beautiful things of nature they all are beautiful and they are compared to the endless fountain of immortal drink immortal drink is children nectar so it is an endless fountain means perennial source of motivation joy happiness therefore they are beautiful from where we can drink the immortal elixir of life because uh, when we are going to listen we are going to take lessons from them and when we are going to take lessons from their lives or from the things that are there in nature then that are going to change our life also and therefore our life will also become immortal we will also do something such that after our death we will be remembered so last in the last part the poet says pouring unto us from the heavens brink so beauty is the greatest gift of god to men which has become uh, shaw which has been showered upon us from the heavens above so this beauty is eternal and everlasting in whose glory men on earth bask and derive their perennial source of joy and happiness so from where do all these things come from the edge of the heaven so in this poem children the poet says that only if you have sadness in your life you can value beauty and beauty resides in each and everything of this nature not only the things or the creatures all around but even the humans the ancestors the forefathers who are who are no more in the world now who have gone away from this world now their life can also give us pleasure by by if we learn from them if we give value to them and if we listen to those preachings then those also can be termed as immortal joy or blessing to so according to the poet this fountain is having two features one the fountain supplies immortal drink immortal drink that is nectar and then the nectar is also perennial the second feature means it is going to continue to come to us and as it is the part of the heaven it is coming from the edge of the heaven therefore it will be everlasting it will never end now let's to the poetic devices that are used in the poem children alliteration is used in noble natures cooling covert band to bind then imagery is used in flowery bands shady boon clear rills daffodils in green world grandeur of dooms cooling covert endless fountain of immortal drink then metaphor is used in bar white 
that refers to a quiet shady part in the garden then sweet dreams are the happy dreams reading a flowery band is connecting to nature then uh, oxymoron is used in mighty dead okay so two opposites are there so oxymoron then the next poetic device is symbolism simple sheep refers to the mankind as christ is considered the shepherd who leads human souls out of the dark world of sins and temptations then transferred epithet is used for gloomy days unhealthy and over darkened ways so besides this children the poem is an allegory which is a narrative fiction in which the agents and actions and sometimes the setting as well as uh the other things are contrived to make coherent sense on the literal or primary level of the significant uh, signification so the story of endymion has been interpreted as an allegory of the quest of human soul for ideal beauty endymion stands for the poet as man cynthia for ideal beauty and the moon for the manifestations of that beauty in nature